Yeah, Boko. I don't have a shield from underground. Yeah, Boko, you can take it away. Huh? Oh, uh, yep, so I'm making coffee. Um, sorry about. You guys failed to bust through, and you guys retreated back to the ship, if I recall last time. Yep. So, what is your guys' strategy now? That's the question. Uh, we're doing Have our we... Eye of a Tiger montage with Virlo's character, Virlo, because he's teaching us how to be more stealthy. Well, yes, yeah, stealth would be good, but... It's not going to help if we get lit on fire by touching the dome. Yeah, we got to figure something out. I mean, I don't know if... Did y'all try throwing a grenade, uh, one of those nanite grenades at it? Uh, we wanted to, but we didn't do that. Virlo kind of got caught immediately. Yeah. Mm. So go ahead, do some training rolls. Somebody, one of you guys. Because you guys are all training as a group with Virlo. Oh, uh, ignore that. Uh, okay, what do we roll? And how do we roll? D100. A D100. Just roll right. three times for the week, and then... You guys are gonna spend a week. Every week you can get you can go up one level. Oh. Of yeah. which? Uh, silent so move or you get plus one on your silent move. <laughs> or no. concealment. Because those are two separate skills. Yep, you can get to pick which one you're gonna train. Ah. I hate systems that do that. It should really just be one skill. Hmm. Yeah, one is for moving, the other is for not being Staying seen. still, yeah. But Technically, I've... two different skill types. One one rank, like, you know, from not trained to trained, you can up, up it to that. And it takes you yeah, a week. Yeah. If it's untrained. To master it, uh... Take you, like, six months. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Okay. What if you're already at plus 10 in concealment and silent move? So your only option, or the only way you can advance is by mastering it. Then it's going to still take you six months. Okay. I wasn't going to anyway, because I'll be on the ship. <laughs> I'm more stealthy on the ship! <laughs> no one can see me inside of my hidey hole. <laughs> I move so slowly, I'm practically invisible to the naked eye. And, uh, fine. Uh, uh, D100. So why are we rolling a D100 again? To train. To train one of the skills we want to train. So if we want to uh, increase our silent move by like one notch to go like from trained to plus 10 or from untrained yep. to trained. I, I get sure, but what do we need to roll to do that? You do need to roll. Uh, no, because... what do we need to roll? One not D one hundred. I did that. I got a seventy four. Was d does it happen? Yes. Karnoth, what was yours before? Uh, mine. My row was twenty six. No, what was what was it trained or untrained before? So my silent move was at uh plus ten. Okay, so you can go up one rank. With so he, help. he mastered it in a week. Yeah, there's only six? Yes. Gotcha. Mine was trained and it needs to go up to plus 10. Does a 74 work? Yes. Cool. Well, without spending an entire year, there's no point in me leveling anything else up now. <laughs> Yeah, unless we want to level up our chem use or demolition <laughs> or acrobatics. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, you guys, do you guys get fully equipped for stealth as well? Yeah, we have the chemo uh, tarps, which allow us to have like plus 22 concealment or something. Oh, wait, no, we, no, those were 
Yeah, we don't have those actually. No, never mind. So let's go get some and see if we can upgrade our armor. All right. Okay. Yeah, that so multi-spectral camo. Let's see. Oh yeah. Maybe. Last time we were like trying to upgrade our armor, weren't we? Trying yeah. to like install stuff. No one in the fleet has that. This multi-spectral thing. Well, she oh. need. Can I give mine to somebody else then? Can. Because that's a plus twenty to the silent move and concealment. Yeah, you can give it to someone else since you're going in the chamber. Yeah. So who wants it? Well, uh, I like my armor. My armor makes me good. I don't. Let's... I can't wear your armor. Uh... It just says camo. I don't know if that's like a cloak or or what it was. Paint. I'm not saying you said my armor. I think it was just like a mod that we put onto it. Yeah, we. If only mods were removable and swappable like that, that'd be great. I don't, I don't think they are, are they? I don't, I don't know. know. Are they? Did we install a mod or we were talking about installing a mod? I think we were talking about it. Because last time we were trying to get into the facility. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're trying to like, see if they have any stealth mods in the fleet? And he said to put on your equipment? Yep. Oh, what the? You two blink. That uh, is wrong. I. Uh, it didn't copy and paste my GM role. Sorry about that. So ignore the link. So one of the vessels is a uh, in the fleet. Uh, they are able to find and acquire some mods they can add to your guys' armor to act as active camouflagers for the operatives and give you a plus ten to your concealment. They, it's older and doesn't work as well, but they can install it to it and be like the predators. Nice. All right. And they have. Hold on, let's see. Oh yeah, I have in my notes that we got plus five yep. concealment all of us last time. Yep. Uh, and they have four of these. Armor modifications they can give to you guys. They found, acquired, and that's the entire in Inquisitional fleet. It take them about a day to mount them. All right, I'll take one of them. You guys are, are you guys are in space? Right. Yeah, we're in we're in space. Yep, we're aboard aboard our ship. Let me space. I would like to confirm with uh, the techs and whatnot that these grenades can actually work on the big giant shield that we have to get through. We don't know. We haven't tried. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Because we know they'll work in the smaller ones, or should anyway. Would it be able to work in the larger one? Because otherwise we have no way of getting through the shield without we, just how making a luck roll to not get incinerated. We can send how in a I... scout. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How attached are you to the stealth squad? We'll send them in, have them toss a grenade to the thing, see what happens, and then run. If they can run. They might just die. Brasora, long-range sensors picking up an enemy fleet. This is the captain of the Don Ray. Uh oh. Why are there so many of us? You were a captain, the... and you were a captain. No, it's the f it's the fleet. There's one Don. We're all fleet. captains. There. Boom. There's you, Moth. You're the little one with the red. But no, this is the Inquisition stealth fleet with you guys. Gotcha. They're at, the captain's asking you for your orders. All right. Where are you, by the way? Are you on the bridge or are you in your quarters? I'm getting my armor fitted for the stealth thing. Okay, so then you're hailed in the box comm. 
remain hidden, I guess. If they're moving directly towards us, move away. Here an acknowledgement. Can you get what do you what is what is the rest of the group doing at this time? Uh, s training as much as possible to not let uh, another hurdle stop us from completing a mission. Yep. I'm just trying to verify that if our techs that what we have will actually work in the big stuff. Okay, so the tech priests that helped design one of the equipment uh, was summoned up to you. Because I'm assuming you're inquiring more about the technology. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he comes to... Where are you in your quarters? I mean, I could go to him. Okay. So he's on one of the other vessels on the fleet. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, Just summon him to a meeting room on our ship. Yeah. Bring him over. Comes to your quarters. Sure. Or a meeting room. We have several. They're very nice. A couple have vending machines. You go to the wadded pants. Yeah, yeah. Couches. Well, he I'll ignores all that, it. and he meets you at your general quarters. That bastard throw him out an airlock. After we get answers, maybe his corpse will distract the incoming ships. Oh. <laughs> all right. So he basically. Whatever your Imperial Guardsmen are at the door, he t informs them that he's he's here to meet with you, and they inform you. So I'm assuming because you're be elsewhere, right? You wouldn't know where this guy's at, precisely. Yeah, I wouldn't raise that. Yeah. So he yeah he informs the guards of uh, your private quarters that he's arrived. As asked. Excellent. Send him in. And he has, uh, he kind of gives you kind of like a bewildered look, stern look. Did you forget to put on pants again? I'm just fuck ass naked. Because <laughs> that, that's what you need to enter the chamber. You just need to be completely naked. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> no, I, if you're wearing, I guess. My armor when I'm not in the chamber. All right. So, Tech Priest. And that's what he says to you. Well, I have you summoned me. Oh, it's your. The kind that wears fish bowls over your head. Interesting. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, no, he looks kind of like tech he, things on his face. he looks more like he, he looks more like a very tall gentleman, almost almost as tall as you. Very slender. Uh, tall tech priest. Yes, he is. Yeah, he has. He has. Can, yeah. Gray, yeah, yeah, he has yeah. a gray beard, gray gray long hair. Um, to you, he looks like like just a very 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 tall human. So. Oh, okay. And he has, yeah, he has like a utility type belt on him and everything. Um, long flowing robes. I'm assuming you had to discuss the, the full capabilities of this as I set down one of the nanite grenades. I realize it can take out the smaller shields, but we're having issues penetrating a larger shield. I just want to confirm if this is a tool that we can properly use to breach their defenses to then take down all of their shields. Or if we need something different.
He glances over it, looks at it. After all, a small scale tends to work on small scale. But can this small scale work on large scale? This is an untested device on a battlefield. You'll be taking a chance against a larger facility. I cannot guarantee it will work against such defenses on that scale. We have no success against their outposts. Ooh, I know. Ask him if he can make a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Let like finish. like a plantable explosive big one. Yeah, or like some kind of device that like separates the field to allow us to go through or something. Yeah. I'll I'll wait for the tippy typing the finish. Yeah, he's kinda like thinking over it about it. And he's looking looking at you, looking all around. You kinda see him stroke his beard and then he just Very calmly says this I, to you. I could, though, possibly Wait. modify your ship to disable their shields. He's a tech priest, right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Which means he's probably wearing red. Mm -hmm. No. No? No, he's not. No. This one's not. He's wearing purple and gold. What the fuck? Where? Why is he Dumbledore? I thought he was going to be Santa. Santa? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. He's going to make a tactical nuke out of every grenade we have at our disposal. No. Um... <laughs> so, when you say modify our ships, I mean, like, we do have that big fuck off last cannon. Yeah, to like modify like the big fuck off last cannon. To disable their ships or our shields, or is it like uh, an area? Do we still have a last cannon? Because I mean, I... it doesn't surprise me that whatever you're about oh, to say, I oh. might snap your neck on the response. But say it anyway. Then we replace that with a temporal cannon thing. Yeah, current. Well, no, our shields don't work, and the big fuck off cannon won't work. Yeah. Yeah, because of the temporal engine that we have uh, on the ship. You replaced my big last cannon with the fucking. Well, we didn't replace it. We just added in that temporal thing, which freezes whatever it is that we shoot it at in time. So we don't need the big hook off cannon if it can't do anything. You can say crash your ship into the shield, and that'll disable it. And I'm just like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's like, ah, I see. What about your corpse? Will your corpse disable their shields? Well, I've gone over your heavily modified vessel specs since your arrival. I could modify your reactor to act as a larger nanite bomb. In theory, it could work, though the drawbacks could be undesirable. It's not a solution. <laughs> it's not a solution in any way. 
could he do that to a different ship's reactor? Yeah, another ship, something maybe other than the one where we have two artifacts like on ship, maybe. that yeah, are didn't integral we... to completing the mission with. Didn't we give them away? So the big, yes, the big artifacts, but the, the devices we got from it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Are on our ship, yeah, yeah. both the time stoppy thing and the chamber and the psionic chamber. Yeah. So if we blow up our ship, we lose those. Mm-hmm. Which is also, you know, kind of counter the point to taking out the shields. You have to get the shields to then use the thing, which the ship will get blown up maybe after that anyway. But I could, it would take a lot longer than you'd like, with your chambers and the temporal weapon enhancements, the Svesto would be the only one capable to do what would be needed. Right, but if we use it, the ship would explode. I'm assuming this is the drawbacks, correct? The ship exploding would be the desirable outcome. The drawback would be a rift in the warp that would engulf the system. I thought a lot about it and designed some ideas already with the artifacts your team recovered. Well, we don't want a third Eye of Terror. <laughs> I'm and who knows what the demons and chaos are doing? Curse of the machine spirit you. Pretty certain it would kill you. This tech priest is fucking worthless. Well, he, he did say you wouldn't like what he has to offer, so. It's like, oh no, the ship exploding is exactly what we want. No, it's not. <laughs> the only downside is that it'll rip open and fall into the fabric of the space time reality. Oh yeah, that's that's the downside. Yup. Not us losing all the beneficial things that we need to finish the mission. Yeah, so our only options so far are either to go assault the other place, hoping we'll have less defenses. It's still going to have that giant fuck-off shield that we got to get. And we need to send in a scout to try and plant the grenade and see if it works. All right, I have an idea, and it's probably going to be infinitely more feasible to do. We leave... We go capture a Necron ship, enslave all the Necrons on board, and have them do it for us. No, it might be mm. easier. Hmm. <laughs> True. It just the drawback is that it just takes time. I mean, we do have time. We're not really. Well, we we yeah, we are separated from the rest of the. We're a hundred years late for completing this mission. What's another decade? Uh huh. So you guys are trying to warp out of the system? 
Yeah, no. don't. No. That no. was a joke. Yeah. Uh, well, do we go back? or Because, like, if we go back, they're probably going to have increased defenses. Uh, if we try and assault the other place, we might have a better chance. But we also know the terrain on the first planet, so it would be more familiar to us. Yeah, but with a second failed assault, it's gonna, probably going to be even more defended. Yes, but if we capture the other facility and take it down, everything else in the system will conglomerate here, which will be the worst thing. Is that all? I have much work to do. Do you have nothing that can, like, I don't know, deflect their shield, redirect it, just to allow passage for people to walk through it? That doesn't involve exploding our ships. Their technology is beyond most of our understanding. I gave you the best solution that I could devise in the 90 years trying to solve the very problem our forces have faced. You could just say no. I have an idea. Can he take some of our grenades, combine them into a plantable bomb that we could put around the base of the shield, and maybe that would work? It would have to be bigger and stronger of an effect than a grenade, though. Are you are you with him, Brasora, as he's discussing with this guy? The Yomux character, Heraclides, I imagine? Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, there's no reason. We're just partying in his room now. Yeah, what she said. What is that bomb you have in the ship? That um, you have a plant cracker bomb. Is that what it is? I believe we have something like that. Yeah. Do we? Yeah, yes. we have one. Which was the idea last time, if I remember right. But then we decided. The shield's probably strong enough to save the entire facility and keep it intact. So the point it would just be pointless to use it. We'd be killing the planet for absolutely no reason. With all due respect, as respected as I stated, this is an untested technology oh, we made on this spot. 
all due respect. To create such yeah. a bomb would do one of two things. Kill everyone on the planet, or do nothing. I could make what you request, and as to what you wish, I would need your exterminatus bomb. Okay, I don't think he quite understood yeah. what I was asking for. He, he wants everything or nothing, this guy. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, guy, guy. You see three grenades. Can you put them into a slightly larger grenade? That's all I want you to do. I don't mean destroy the entire planet or something else. Just give it a bigger area of effect. That's all I'm asking for. Is that possible? Slightly bigger. It doesn't need to be like planet scale or the entire facility scale. I just want, you know, instead of five feet, can we get 20 or 30? Something big enough to affect an entire building. Or at least one of those pillars that look like they're supporting the force field. Because if we take one of those down, we might drop a single side, maybe two. Or if we had two of them, we could probably drop a side. Putting the bombs together in a larger bundle would do nothing on the range provided. We'd need more powerful bomb to accomplish your stated goal. Yes, yeah, what I just asked. Can you make one? I mean, like, actually cannibalize the parts from the grenades, since they seem to be so rare, and you can't make more of them. What if we just take a missile from one of the ships? Would that be a large enough payload? Not a fucking planet cracker, but just a standard sh anti-ship missile. Or hell, just a missile we can use on a, a missile launcher. Yeah. I could modify a missile to do as you requested. It wouldn't increase the weapon's effect, though. This guy's I, I don't think you understand how grenades and missiles work if you think that's not a good thing. Does not compute. <laughs> My guy, as long as we don't have to be next to the fucking robots, it's a good plan. Modify a few missiles. I would rather have missiles than grenades. As you request, give me g give my priest a month and we can modify your missiles with the grenades to act as you desire. Well, it's something. Yeah. I had to rip most of his teeth and fingernails off to do it, though. I was one step away from just machine cursing this, <laughs> this fool. Pretty sure it would kill him. All his parts not functioning for a whole minute. So this guy's a tech priest, right? Yep. Yes. Is he Adeptus Mechanicus or just a regular human? He's very, very tall. He's way taller than a normal human. Right, so he's definitely Adeptus Mechanicus and he modified his fucking legs. Is that all you need for an agent? I have much more work to do now.
Oh, unless you can think of something that would help us stay undetected. Okay, I don't machine curse him. <laughs> uh, great. Oh, curse fuck him. this guy. Okay, I'm going to use one of my, um... I'm going to fate point that. I'm going to machine curse this jackass. <laughs> Heraclitus, is that all you need now? No, you have wasted I, I enough of my precious time with your request. I will get on your task immediately. I got something for him. I'm going to cast Holy Light on his eyeballs so his eyes light up and they're glowy. But it blinds him. Oh, I was just going to make every system in his body stop working for a few rounds. Oh, oh we oh need him alive. God. Uh, yeah, that's why I said a few rounds, speak. not the full minute. Like, they just kind of glitch and stop working, and then they'll, they start working again. So, you know, a minor cardiac arrest. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's holy radiance, not holy light. But... Hey! Oh, oh, did you... What's wrong? Are you having some issues there? You just see him collapse on the floor. Tech Priest, are you okay? Oh shit, did you kill him? No. Maybe. Sure. That's it, just a couple rounds of not self-functioning, and then he's good again. Although if I do it per the thing, it would probably just be all his systems for one round stop working. Or just kind of glitch out. And then he starts working again. Got it. Well, he's still on the ground. I suppose I check to see if he's still alive. Can you even do that? Do you have tech use? I pull a glove <laughs> off and check his pulse. Does he even have a pulse? I don't know. We'll he's very, out. very hard and metallic to your touch. Like his skin and seems to be made of metal. What? I thought the flesh was supposed to be weak. Yeah, so he replaced it with metal. Yeah, it looks Why like flesh. Why the fuck make it look like flesh, though? It's weak. These fucking tech priests make no sense sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have flesh, but I want it to look like I do. Why? And at this point, Karnoff enters the room, like, seeing how everyone has gathered here. Yep, you just see a giant tech priest on the ground, laying flat glowing. on his face. His, face. his entire head is just glowing. Do you understand machines? Uh, hold on. Where is it? Fuck. No. <laughs> yes. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Drag him to a tech priest somewhere. I'm sure they can fix him. He nods. He picks up the tech priest. Uh. Like he carries it like a body bag and like with one hand like a like a bag and he just walks on to the Did he come up a cohort or did he come alone? He came alone, but he does have a a group in the in the hangar bay that they arrived in. They arrived in a vessel. Just tell me just kind of fell to the ground and stopped clicking. Yeah, I just like I I make him click again. I walk I walk up to the to the vessel that entered uh, our ship. I like I toss the body. Uh, the the people are like looking at me like what what happened, and I just shrug and I walk away. <laughs> That's kind of what you hear being screamed out. And so I walk back to the to the to the hole where Ericlades and Brasora are. So what do we do now? I hear screaming. Did you tell them to make him work again? He just stopped. They'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any repercussions. What could possibly occur from that? 
It'll be fine. I have a feeling we're not getting our missiles. Yeah, you, f you hear that on the door. I look at the other, should I, like, should I open the door? It's not my room. I, I, I go, I, I go open the door. I don't know. He turned the leave and he just fell to the floor. I had our companion here go and deliver him to you. <laughs> Hopefully you can fix what occurred. Whatever occurred. Why do they all bring typewriters? They can just speak you. Oh yeah. My, I'm not a very good speaker. Uh, is that like an actual like tech priest with like me me metallic parts, or is it also like a human? Yeah, very oh, tall shit. humanoid as you well. Killed him. Uh, but he might still be alive. The light of the emperor was on him. He, he also has a purple robe as well, gold trim. Uh, this also has. He has a beard. He looks very similar to the other one. Hmm. Man, that's, that's he unfortunate. Kinda, <laughs> yeah, he, expl he explains he explains to you what, like uh, that they're mostly machines with you know like all that remains of what was once their human form is their brains inside their you know head cavity, and somehow his system shut down. He was over. He told he kind of told you that dude was over five thousand years old. It is a shame. I mean, if a 5,000 year old mechanics and stuff, something had to have, you know, crapped out. I guess even momentarily was all it took to bring him down. You're going to try to deceive this guy? It's That's such a shame. Deceit. He literally did that. <laughs> he just isn't saying that he did that. Okay. It's such a shame that machines are such such uh what was it culpable uh susceptible to yeah i guess anything what you're saying is <laughs> that steel is weak no it's... he's but he tells you that's near impossible uh but it's not impossible guy. i mean it clearly happened i mean we saw it you just turned to leave and then crumpled to the ground i mean with the shit that we fight you're saying that those things aren't as impossible as this happening? He kind of tells you there'll be, there's going to be an investigation into this. This, this puts everything at risk. Hmm. And he turns to walk away. As soon as he's out, and kind of closes the door again. Yeah, close right, the door. So we need to hit those facilities as fast as possible. <laughs> like on it, and I like begin gathering whatever we have, our gear, and like bringing it to our ship, our vessel. Hopefully, we get enough time to send down a scout crew to see if a single grenade can fucking affect that giant shield. All right. So I guess Yo, he was have to be so weak. Hmm. Yo, for a five thousand year old guy, he was a real bitch. For real. I guess they tend to do that when they get old. The I've, I've heard guy. surly old people, but that was ridiculous. Brisora, enemy fleet closing closing in our formation. Oh. Well, hopefully they can take care of the other tech priest, so that way there's no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could. I could stall their ship as it's leaving. 
for a full minute. Uh, what are your orders? Uh, move our ship out of their way. Move our entire fleet out of their way. <clears throat> and if they continue flying at us, leave the system. I uh, go ahead and uh, go to the what, what is it? The helm, the cockpit. What? Yeah, like where the pilots are, and I attempt to assist them. Surely you mean the planet. We can't leave the system. Well, it's either leave the system or die, because I doubt we can outrun no, them. No, we can't like warp out of the system. Why can't because... we warp out of the system? Warp storm. The that's the first time I'm hearing of this. Oh, wait, was no, it? No, 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 no. It's I the. I wasn't here two sessions ago. Well, okay, but sorry, your character knows that the Inquisition, they have artifacts at their last base in the mountains, and they have a dampening field that's keeping these aliens in this specific system. And that's why the aliens are tracking down and trying to kill the Inquisition forces, because they want to leave the system, but they cannot. And oh. So, oh, yeah, so you physically can. That's why. That. Yeah. So they have a warped uh, displacement field. That's why you guys were essentially warped in the future. Oh. Yeah. So basically, you so can't warp out. Yeah. So we're, yeah. We're only one. System. Only one who can warp out is that rogue trader vessel, and uh, that specific station. Why? You guys don't know. You, your intel knows that he's able to leave the system somehow, and they're trying to shut that. They've been trying for eons to kill that vessel. That's all you know. That's specifically why they brought you guys on to, to take this guy out. Also, a rogue trader ship, so it might have technology that ignores warp disruptors. Yep. Uh, uh. I suggest evasive maneuvers and yeah, good, healthy good, good evasive plan, maneuvers. If they continue to come at us, leave the planet. He, he tells you uh, yeah, there's about a thousand of these vessels right now coming in our general direction. So they'll, they'll, they're going to they're going to try to stealth out of here. You guys have been about a week in the space, right? Uh, too. something like that. Maybe. I would imagine that whenever we go back to the ship, we're constantly moving and not just in one spot. Yeah, parked in. Correct, but there's about a thousand vessels in your general direction, and that's why you guys picked up a long range mm -hmm. sensor. You guys see this formation coming. Uh, one of the vessels, Inquisition of Vessels, uh, they die and they literally just explode randomly. What? Mm hmm. Nice. And Hopefully not the one. The tech -based one. No. Damn it. Damn it. But it is. It is a vessel. Just you just see it just explode. Great. Now it's... they have visible weapons. We have a temporal weapon. They can stop what a single ship one time and might cause us to blow up. Mm, no, it doesn't well, no, cause. No, a temporal us. weapon won't cause us to blow up. Yeah. That's the uh, the psionic chamber. If we use it, Mike. Yeah, I, I have no idea what you put on my fucking ship when I was <laughs> here. That was so rude. Uh, yeah. So the the control device, which I mean, the way I understand it is, if it's activated, we can't use the big hook off cannon or the shields while it's active. They no, they replaced the big hook off cannon with that thing. Oh, oh, I would not have allowed that. That's not that. what I understood it to be. I would not have allowed them to do that at all. Yeah, because they have to divert all power to that thing to be utilized. So, if you're not installing that then? No. Yeah, that, that's not what I understood it to, to be when you were explaining it. No, also they... His ship. Yes. So... I did ask them if they could modify the big ship laser, but with the, you know, modifications we put on the small lasers... No. Anything else? No, no, no. That they, they, they 
they would have specifically told you they have to divert all the power that would want that would have wanted that giant laser and all the laser weapon range shields to the temporal wep the temporal weapon device generator and then you would have the stats of that thing that you can blast out uh about sure a thousand yeah a thousand kilometers yeah 1d100 uh radius and you can speed time up slow it down you could literally zap a target uh, a million years in the future. Or million, you age it a million years and it would be disintegrated. Ah. Yeah, so That's, we only get one is, shot with it? No. No. You get as many shots as you want. It acts as, it acts as your hyper cannon would have. So. You aim the ship in direction, you fire it, and it would. You could do whatever you want. You could stop something, or you could age it rapidly. Okay, so it's just got like infinite uses. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. It would but replace would no cooldown. Know if it'll work against their shields. Like we don't know if the shields will stop any of it or not. Right. Also, I mean, it takes away our shields. They're nanite robots. It wouldn't do anything to them. What I'm thinking of using that on is the rogue trader station and ship. Just. Boom, million years, fuck you, you're dead. Right, but if their shields stop it, or somehow no, can no, interfere no, with it. No, Yilma, the rogue trader ship. They don't have yeah, those yeah, shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also have the shield, though. Do they? Since when? They yeah, are mod it? modified with alien tech, you know that much. Their, their ships and armor and even their marines seem to be modified slightly with the alien tech. Do we ever come across them? Mm. Yes. Uh, we down there in the uh, assault that... last time. Also, we did see the ship a couple of times and their ships. Yeah, do you not remember, Moth? They they had those aliens with them, and they would form up and basically make a giant space marine. Those oh. were the space marine. Yeah, those. Are the I space thought you marine. were. I thought you were just using space marine models again for mm -hmm. no reason. No, no, because no, you no, do no. that sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, these these were specifically. You saw them specifically as okay. space marines. But their armor was a lot more smooth metallic, right, with the Drake symbol on it, and they seemed to cooperate with the alien beings to form giant Titan-like gotcha. entities. Yep. It wouldn't work, and again, we have more useless weapons that aren't going to do anything to anything. Cool. I mean, we, we can try it, but that's four ships. I'd rather try yep. it in one ship and then run if it didn't work. Yeah, so... Um... Yeah, you can age anything million plus years in a second. Million years per second. It's assuming it works past their shields. Or if their shields don't disrupt it. Okay, I don't think it's they not, have anti-time shields. It's untested technology. Everything you guys have is untested. So you won't know more, until you use it. The thing I'm more worried about is they're robots. And they're nanite robots. Which means they could just repair themselves over time. So it wouldn't do anything? Well, time theoretically stops. Or it throws them out of our time zone. Yes, they, um, they go very fast forwards. Or they freeze. They just don't move. Well, you can also think of how the one of the alien species, the Hrod, also does it. Like, they also age uh, stuff. And they do it so fast. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not sure the nanites would be able to like comprehend uh, like the time being dilated so much. I, I think it would affect them at least. Oh, would you install this device, Moth? They would mean you lose those other systems and your shields. We wouldn't have any shields anymore ever. Or That's we, right. As long as we were firing the thing, we wouldn't have them. Nope. You would lose it permanently. No, fuck that. Not worth it. I mean, it's a one of a kind weapon. Nobody else has that. Yeah, neat. We're totally defenseless and useless otherwise. And we now, have one supposedly a stealth ship, so. You could all. Yeah, uh, your stealth would still work. I, I, I beg to fucking differ now. We're being chased in stealth. Well, the fleet's being chased. This, it's a stealth fleet. 
As far as your captain is aware, the ships are not directly coming at you. They're going moving in your general direction. Motherfucker, I asked him that twice, and he said they're coming right at us. Yeah. From his perspective, ben, they're coming at us. Ben, move out of their way, like I ordered you the first time. He tells you he did, and they change direction yet again. Ben, they're coming right at us, motherfucker, <laughs> aren't they? It's one or the other. It's not both at the same time or neither. Hey, he's just telling you what he's observing. But anyways. So do we you have... Can also you can also install a temporal thing on another vessel if you wanted to. In the fleet. We'll have to do that later. Well, I mean, you could have done it right when they're installing the, the chambers on your vessel. Basically, we, are we retconning our gun, or are we not re retconning our gun? Well, um, I mean, if, we're, if we're retconning it, we should probably also discuss the psionic chamber, too. Because once it's used, there's a chance a black hole spawns on top of the, the, uh, the ship. Yep. Oh, boy. So, you guys and your dangerous shit. Can we put both of those on different ships? <laughs> now, the Sonic Chamber, uh, you technically could, they said. But your vessel is much more ideal. Because of that giant weapon you guys have. And other, other technology you guys have. So, profitable. As to... Whoa. Okay, it's got more tech, but what's the downside if we put it on another ship? It's like a guaranteed black hole chance? Well, I mean, you can just destroy the ship, and with that, uh, the chamber will be gone It's by itself. So it's just like the matter of protecting the chamber. Less, I guess. less power. They, 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 explain, they would have explained to you they've been less power, essentially. Because the way, your ship, the way it's modified, and it's reactor capacity and other other enhancements, it would have the stated uh, specs that gave Yelmug. Uh, other vessels Which would are have where? Yelmug has them. I think it's 100x of all his stuff. It's, it's in the... Uh... <clears throat> oh, right. Well, it was just, like, everything times 10 or 100. Like, yep. Ranged by 100 and everything else by, like, 10. Okay, so what would that knock it down to if it was on a different ship? 50 and 5. That's totally fine by me. I mean, he already does 1,000 damage. We don't need him doing 10,000 damage on one target that's <laughs> immune to it. Because they're immune to fucking everything. Yeah, but he has the giant, um, what is it? The, the giant sharks, the whale sharks. You're talking about Yelmug, right? Or uh, Gigalodon, Megalodons. Yeah. 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 Space Megalodons. Yeah, the the warp power he has, yeah. So you would have to push and, like I said, guaranteed kill yourself, but you can still do it, and you can do it infinitely, so obviously. Yeah. One time. Infinitely yeah. one time. Well, yeah. It's not infinite, that's one time. Infinite damage, he means. No, 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 no. It, uh, uh, because it's guaranteed, um, uh, what was Righteous it? Righteous Fury. Uh, Righteous Fury. He theoretically, because the, the way the game system works, could do it infinitely. And I said, yes, you can, but your character's dead. And it oh, would okay. infinitely, infinitely do all the damage you want. You can and, infinitely and... do infinite damage to something that's immune to all damage infinitely. Cool. Which is why we need to take the shields out. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Now you're getting them off. Now you're I already that. know we need to take the shields out, and I already know everything's fucking immune to everything we can do. It's just, we're put in a position of, you can do nothing, and you have to kill something that's unkillable. What the fuck do you want us to do? I'll leave that up to you guys. Leave, then, because there's no point in being here. If you wait for the stealth team to come back, in our report, if a grenade makes a hole in the shields, large enough, long even, enough for people to we, get through. 
we couldn't even launch them. We immediately got accosted by a billion ships, sorry, a thousand ships that are tracking us through stealth now. So now we can't do anything. We can try and evade them. We did that and they followed us. Well, you guys evaded them, you lost one ship. So. Oh yeah, and his ship just mysteriously disintegrated. Mm-hmm. To invisible weaponry. Uh. You guys want to report on what happened? Are we? Are the? Is the fleet still following us? Are we still in danger? What's no. going on here? No. I don't know. You guys evaded the fleet successfully. I'm. I'm okay. telling you, the ship exploded on your guys' uh, exfiltration. And we'll get a report on why that happened. So we're not currently being followed by a fleet. Not anymore. Uh. Not so. Okay. The report is their reactor overheated because this, this, they've been in extended amount of stealth. That ship is an older design, and I guess one of the guys didn't shovel in enough reactor fuel, and the ship exploded because it couldn't handle it anymore. So we rolled a 100 on the roll. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. You rolled a 92. So, boom. <laughs> <laughs> no weapon killed it. It just died over exhaustion. Because they have to neglect. Well, yeah, they have. To, well, they've been in constant stealth for eons now, decades. They have to, or else they get destroyed. So, <clears throat> and the the Commodore reports that's probably why that enemy fleet could have picked us up because that ship's stealth was failing. Right, so not eons. Decades. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. Centuries. Centuries. Haven't they been here for a century? Well, almost, a century. almost a century. Almost a century. About ninety years. But definitely not a billion years. No, decades. the The ship has been stealth for decades, so it overheated and the reactor exploded, and it was giving away your guys' position. So they didn't know that. As far as they could tell, they're still in stealth parameters, but. Boom. Okay. Will we send a stealth group down to the planet to see if the grenades... They, well, they already went down as you guys ordered them to. As you guys were leaving. Okay. Then we wait for them to come back or we'll report back. Well, we do remember that radio signals did attract the attention of the Xeno, so we probably need to send an evac or something along the lines of that. I mean, they're probably going to die planting the bomb itself, or the grenade itself, so we kind of want them to just radio us to see what happens when it does it. Yeah, so yeah, that was a suicide team. Alright, <laughs> alright. All right. No progress. I just close the line. You close the line? No progress. Close the line. Okay. And then I order the fleet to move again. As your fleet moves, you see three more vessels pop in where, where, right where you guys are heading towards. Alien vessels or ours? Uh, definitely your guys's. And your captain uh, reports back to you that the lead vessel is wanting to talk to you. Who is the lead vessel claiming to be? The Inquisitor. Probably, yeah. Have him come aboard or I'll go aboard to his ship. Either way, we should probably keep radio communications closed. Because these guys line. fucking trick it. Yeah, it's on our secure line. It was a short burst. So, they, they, 
you guys are giving the Inquisition comm lines and how they operate. So, brief signal, and then you see the fleet kind of scatter and move out from what, after they signaled. So the Inquisitor comes aboard. And he looks at you very sternly. Report. I did. No progress. It's not something that's easily doable. Otherwise, you guys would have done it before we got here, right? He kind of looks around the room. We're waiting on a report from our stealth team to see if the grenade did anything to the shield to allow a viable assault. If it doesn't, then we need to come up with a different plan. And if it does, then we have a plan. And he kind of shakes his head, nods. Like, I've mustered the remaining of the fleet. That's all that remains is what we have here. So we'll have to do what we can against whatever target's next. <sighs> I suppose we should report on what happened to the one ship that blew itself up. Oh, he tells you he knows of it. He he's he's he kind of tells you he was kind of concerned about that ship for a while now. Well, I guess no longer need to be concerned about it because it's gone. Yep, tells you that's a shame. We're we're dwindling in forces, so. Yeah, it's it's crazy what how machines are so easily susceptible to malfunctions and. And terrible things happen to them. You should just have like as a memorized speech and just <laughs> recite it every time. <laughs> and you think remotely like to pretending to machine spirits happens. Uh so he kinda he's like as I was afraid your progress would be slowed for whatever reason. So he's like, and he kinda tells you I'm gonna give you one chance to reach these defenses, or they're going to have to do what they need to be. What needs to be done? Oh, what what's that? Well, your character would know uh, uh, since you're in position as well. What he means by that is going to be a suicide run with probably exterminos bombs. Gotcha. On all available weapons, it's going to be a suicide mission. Let's see if that does anything to them, because. By all standards, that would do fucking nothing. Yep, but that's what he's basically prepared to do to accomplish the mission. So, uh, as far as the shields, he has no idea if they're immune to that stuff or not. So. Then we just sit here and wait for the team to report. Alright. Let's do some rolls. Uh, he tells you he has some news on some of the artifacts that he'll do he'll debrief you on, and only you, your character moth. Okay. So you guys don't hear anything from that 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 team per se. Um, your captain. We get a telescope following them on the planet. Yeah, your your ship reports back they did receive a signal that, that that the team was able to do something. And it came from inside the compound. Inside the shields facility? Yes. Well, fantastic. But uh the signal indicates that probably all were lost. That's fine by me, that was the point. But at least it sounds like the grenades will get us through the shields. At we least step through. At least for the next few hours. So we should probably go. So yeah, the the Inquisitor kind of like. Um, well, we didn't. They didn't have a big bomber thing. They just had the standard grenades on them, like maybe two or three of those. Yep. So yeah, we but, know that our grenades can get us through the big shields. Yeah, but what if, from what I remember, the shields, the grenades will have an effect that lasts like a day or or so. Yep. And we have like then 67 after that. Grenades. 
they're worthless. Yep. So we need to go now within the day. So, yeah, so the Inquisitor... Wait, hold on. That means the entire base... Does that mean the entire base's shield is down right now? Well, maybe there's a hole. We don't know. We need to go in and check. Yeah. So the Inquisitor is uh, talking to you briefly, Moff, about the, that staff that they've been investigating. And he basically, yeah, he basically tells you he can send you back to your, your, back to your timeline before all this. Oh, interesting. That... And, and... It would erase this entire timeline, though, he tells you, kind of like what his tech priest had discovered. So. It would erase the things we have on us. Yep. It would, yeah, it would effectively erase this timeline. And he can put you back to where you came before this mission. Okay, but, but will we still have the stuff we have right now? Like, say, these grenades that took you a hundred years to make? Could we come back with more and then just. Repeat, 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 repeat. No, he, he informs you. No, it's uh, this is a one-time, one-time thing, and it involves that ex that exterminos run. And he's hoping he wouldn't have to do it because there's he tells you there's two things that can happen here with this. Uh, everyone dies, and you know the temporal device doesn't work for you guys, or it does work, and you can stop with all this nonsense before. You know, before these guys got activated, and you can assassinate this rogue trader before all this happened. So, there's some options he's giving you. That's the best option, to be honest, because fuck these immune bullshit guys. Right. But you, he tells you you're running a high chance of just all straight up dying. Naturally. What's the difference between that and the daily? <laughs> what it would take him a couple months to get it underway, though. So, gotcha. It's a, it's uh, a resort kind of thing. I get it. Again, the last resort kind of thing in case this fails. Yes. He's informing you, and he said that the, these guys' shields will have to go down. We, he, you would be all that remains of the Inquisition after their assault. And he gives you the coordinates to their to their base. Because I trust Got you me. enough with these with these these coordinates, you should be the only one that knows of this. I immediately broadcasted for the aliens. No, I'm kidding. No, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he basically informs you not even the rest of the fleet know where the remaining base where the remaining base is. So, yeah, I will memorize the coordinates and then burn the piece of paper on a data pad. But yeah, you can burn it or whatever do where you want to do. All right, so you guys going down to the planet? Do we uh, go yeah. in fast and hot, or do we try to stuff it once again? Okay, I had two ideas about this. We could stealth it, or we could send a bombing run to test to see if the entire base's shields are down, and then stealth it in, or just nuke it from orbit at that point. If it's still shielded and you do a strafing run, then it will just alert them and do nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if we still hit a shield still up. We still have grenades, we can just still use them. It's not a problem. Yeah, True. I mean, they used your grenades, so. Hopefully they'll work again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they might still. They might be on alert since they have found the intruders. Uh, since they didn't report back. Presumably. Uh. So, in that case, going stealthily might just be suboptimal, but it's also still our kind of our best shot, question mark. Is it? Have you seen uh, how many robots they had and the size of them? 
Well, we are better now. Damage resistances and immunities. We have fights that can kind of scratch them. With four people. So and maybe a titan or whatever the hell it is. You might not. Yeah. Well, the the grenades disable their shields and half their armor. By the way. Yeah. When you use them. Within a half uh, of one hundred is still fifty. Are you talking about the big big dudes? Oh yeah. And so, in order to evade the big big dudes, we need to get inside the compound where they can get us, which means kind of stealthing or just rushing our way in. Because we excel in like uh, close, not uh, close, but. In tight space. You are, you are going to the mountain insulation again, so I can put you back on there. Are you mounting yeah. up Yelmug back into the chambers? Yeah, I think if uh, we were assuming that the moment they set off the grenades and got in, that that's when we were going to then go and assault, I probably would have been getting into the system or uh, the machine before then. It'd take you three days to get in. Yeah, it's, it's going to take you a while to get in, so like you would just be probably, well, yeah. Can I, just burn a, can I just burn a fate point to just be in it? I'll speed it up to one day. That's as fast as they, the, 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 the tech freeze that yeah. maintain it can get you in. All right, but I'm saying, so for, um, for when we sent them on the mission, and if we knew that that was going to be our trigger, oh, I would yeah. have already started we, we going were, in. Yep. Yeah, we you were planning part, this beforehand. Yeah, then you could you could spend a fate point and beat it like you can do things up to the day prior. If you wanted to do that. Cool. Then we'll assume this other stuff would have happened like the day prior, and then now I'm in. Yes. All right. Cool. Now you're in and primed, is because you know they have to put you in, do all the rituals, get you, get you hooked up, and. Yep, and I'll be <laughs> waiting for any signal to. Jump in on their giant space station and fleet and fuck them all up with giant Megalodon fleet. Cool. Just waiting for their shields to go down okay. for me to go out in a blaze of glory. See. I mean, my plan there was if the base's shields are down, just fucking launch the, launch the apocalypse weapon and kill the planet. Because that'll kill the base too. Supposedly, yeah. Well, if the shields are down, that was the only thing stopping it. I don't, I don't imagine they're immune to magma. If they are down, yes. Because like we still don't know yeah, if it's going to take all of them or just a part of it. Yeah. That's why I wanted to launch a bombing run to see if the shields were down on the entire base or not. Alright. Uh, then I will, we will be trying to get a closer look at the supposed location where like do we know the approximate location of where the scouts went to yes i imagine we would have planned our route ahead yeah. of time on the left side all right uh and i think we're going to be bringing our dreadnought y yet at least we can always drop pot him in if need be um, yeah, you can always hot drop them in. Yeah. So I will move my character in that direction. Okay. What is it here? Where 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 was it? Oh, here. Yeah, uh, Yama, you, your character can move around like you could before. Oh no! Last time I did that, they started chasing me, so I'm not going to do that nonsense. Oh yeah, because they can obviously see. I mean, you could do that nonsense just on the right side. That way, they run to the right instead of the left. Why not? I don't go through the shields. Oh, and I, this is a good good test. I just move it and see if it goes through shields. And if it goes through shields, bomb the fuck out of the facility. Uh, 
Okay. Do we, we need to make a new rolls? Do we can I can we see the breach? Can we can we deduce where it happened? Over here, Saya. I just hear like not quite yelling, but like um see that guardsman kinda wave at you. Mm-hmm. Is he silvery? He decked out and looks like to be cloaked like all his armor's painted like it's to be stealth. And he's wearing a full mask and everything. But he does have a hammer. Hmm. A hammer. It does. A war hammer, yeah. perhaps. Okay, I'm moving. 40,000 pounds? It, 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 the, this, this, the metal was fought 40,000 times, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he hands you the hammer. Uh, I pick it up. It... How big is it compared to me? Well, he was like, it can go on one of your hands, but he's using two hands with it. Yeah, it's just like a one-handed weapon to me, yeah. Right, and then you see him kind of mess with the head of the hammer and a hatch pop out. You say a hat popped out? A hatch. hatch, like a little hatch, like the hammer's been modified. Oh, okay. And he loads a grenade into the hammer. And he closes it, and then he signals to you something. These guys are fucking better than the tech priests. Right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, can I deduce what he ciphers? Uh, what he gestures to me? You'll blow up the grenade if you hit something with the hammer. Which will trigger the grenade on whatever you hit. Yeah, but maybe he's doing something else. It's... Obviously, like, to your character, it seems to be Imperial Signals. Your character... Go ahead and roll that. You get it, you have a plus 20, because your character has kind of dealt with this before. Yeah, he's basically telling you um, it, it's a stealth weapon to breach the wall. And, he's, and he tells you in another way it is... Uh, Roughly over here. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. And he tells you, that far away. And then he informs you, radio is silent. Uh, and then he tells you, two on the inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do have about five grenades on me, I think. Uh, let me check. Yep. He's just... He's basically showing you how this how this device works and right. how they breach breach the perimeter. All right. So that is uh, that line is where this kind of this whole force field ends, I presume, or like what is it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You see, in that general area, just a bunch of charred remains too. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. So I'd imagine over here is still force field. Right where that line is that I showed you, that's basically where he indicates there is a force field of some kind in that area, and to use the hammer, like any kind of gestures, extend it out. I like use the hammer. Point it out. Yeah, so you point it out. Okay. Uh, do I need to roll for something? Nope, just keep walking. And you kind of, the grenade, you kind of hit something, it impacts. And you see just giant blue field, kind of just nicely, like something exploded outwards in front of you, like a portal almost. Where the shields would be what he indicated. Mm -hmm. And he, he tells you to halt, and he walks through first to show you that he can get that it's safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I try to gesture. Uh, is there anything else we should be aware of? Uh, 
Can I gesture to you some more? Go ahead and do a little roll. This one's stuff you haven't really seen too much. Which kind of get the gist of what he's saying. Is it the same modifier? Minus minus ten this time. Reggie. Oh, great. Basically, you get the gist. You kind of seen some of these signals that he's indicating that there is an enemy flotilla around this area somewhere, and that there is a massive force on the inside. They have not been able to go out, go further than what was asked of them. They did what was asked of them, which is breach the perimeter wall. Uh, hard enough significant. Uh... Yes, it signifies that they have completed their mission. They can extract now. They can leave the perimeter. You kind of see another gesture, and just like uh, he does, like a throat slash uh, gesture. As in, like a radio silence, or like that they are considered dead. Uh, if you want to know, go ahead and do another roll plus twenty. All right. Assumption is that he's going to extract. All right. Great. I'll let them be. Yeah, they, Retreat they, is death. Oh, okay. Kinda, we're going to leave. Okay, cool. Can I just see them, like, arming up and putting grenades on themselves and whatnot? I don't waste grenades in a suicide run. Shit. Not your grenades, but oh, oh, oh. they used all the, you. You could tell that that was their probably lo their last one they had. We only Other gave grenades. them one, so you as far as one? I know, I don't know. I was on the you game three. Yeah, we gave them three. Okay. The rest of the team, what are you guys doing? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm right here at the wall, too. Okay, so you probably would have saw all that and you came in as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, I presume Virlo would be also following us and also be here. Uh, yeah, yep. we're going to assume Virlo is with us. Yeah, I'm just going to move his token here. There you go. On the Titan's up in space. <laughs> All right. Uh, and he's probably not going to be able to come down to this facility. Right. So, up ahead, what do I see? See a giant. Looks like a, some sort of. Like. A combination between guardsmen, the alien tech, and space marine bunker facility of some kind. You're not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you don't see any visible entrances. And uh, Moth, uh, one of the guardsmen kind of stops you and then hands you something. Okay. I look at it. It is uh, dog tags. Oh. There's about, about 20 of them in his hand. Just a big chain full in his hand. He hands them to you. Alrighty. Ah. I say a prayer to the Emperor. And he gives you uh, some sort of signal and then walks walks on back to the other guardsmen we're at. I salute them as they leave to go blow themselves up to open the facility for us. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Karnoth, guardsman, kind of taps you on the the shoulder there. I I, I I turn my head. And he points to that that building you're looking at, and he gives you more signals. Uh, modifier. Minus twenty. And then you don't know what he's saying, and you have no idea what they're saying. So you just, yeah, yeah. 
to see them. I mean, I get the implication is what they're doing. Okay. And I will. I'll closer. follow them closely. I, was, I, I, I. Are you doing a stealth roll? Mm. Stealth move. So like, he tapped me and pointed at the uh, building. So in Karnov's mind, is like, okay, we're gonna go there. Like we're going in that direction. He's like, okay. Uh, and yes, he will try to be stealthy. Yes. Um, so silent move, I presume. I'd like to stop you, but I don't think I can. I mean, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna do any uh, m gestures or movements to kind of catch my attention, you can try. Yeah, you kind of see the guards, then they get up next to this building, and they kind of see them like. One of them pulls out something, places it down next to the facility, and that they're pressing buttons and whatnot. That's kind of what you see, Karnoff, if you're following them closely. Yeah, so will Brissora try to stop me? Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to, though. Uh, On the shoulder, you can signal to him. Do you have ciphers? Uh, I untrained so no all right um maybe lore i have a bunch of forbidden lore <laughs> otherwise just basic common yeah uh you can fate point you kind of know what they're saying sure i'll do that okay uh so basically uh, they're telling you they're going to sacrifice them and play distraction while you guys get deeper into the facility. Gotcha. Well, do we really need to do that? Well, it's like meta gaming, just you know. But just asking this question to Moff, who has the uh, something to do, who has the ability to influence this or not influence this. Because we're trying to go in stealthily, we don't really need distractions. We already got in without a hitch. Go. So far. I mean, we could use a distraction if we get spotted otherwise. I'm not sure we do either. So you're going to ask them why they're doing this? Yeah, sure. So I'll just hand the bombs and give you another signal of what they're doing and why. Minus 20, if you want to decipher what they're saying. Uh, sure. Though I don't think I can ever succeed at that. Yeah, I have a 27, so I could never succeed. Okay, um... I mean, I could. I just have to roll a fucking seven. Uh, and then, Karnoff, you want to learn it too? Try? Sure, sure. I can, I can, I can try it. Sure. Honest 20. Hmm. I learned nothing. No idea. You learn nothing. You can spend another fate point and decipher what they're saying. I uh, know what, sure. Yeah, I'll spend a fate point. Yeah. Alright, so they're basically telling you that this seems to be what controls this immediate garrison that this that they're trying to shut down the immediate immediate garrison to give you guys entry into the facility further fair enough yeah so that but it will they basically loot it will alert nearby forces to aid this base mm, can we Can we leave view low and or like uh because it, it it's it's it, it's a good thing to do, but not now it's like if we need it, it it would be really great to have, but at the same time, we can't really give any radio signals, we can't communicate, so it's very hard to say. 
um, I guess if we, if, if neither of us comes back in like five min, ten minutes, or however long we can we deem necessary, then they can dip, uh, destroy the garrison. We can put some arbitrary time frame. Or we can just say, yeah, sure, just blow it up and we can just like go in guns blazing. He's, from what I'm understanding, all of the ground forces are controlled by this point. If we blow it up, we'll have free reign of the facility right now, but people will be coming quickly mm -hmm. to go back up the facility. Unless I'm misunderstanding that. That's what your character interpreted. When he's, what he's talking about. So this, he basically says, point of control, garrison, facility, with his signals. Make so, the first leg easy, but the second leg hard. Mm -hmm. So in that case, we would, we'll, like, our goal right now is to destroy the facility, right? Or... Well, correct. Okay. So we just need to look for any critical points in infrastructure. We just need to get the big shield to come down. And we need to get that to come down and we can just bombard it. Yeah. So oh. I guess I guess we can yeah, do, do that. It. Yeah. Yeah, do awareness as well. Modifiers? Uh plus thirty. Incoming. Yeah, you hear giant, you hear marching, just general marching. Like a huge force, just marching back to your guys' general direction. One D100, and do a couple rolls. Oh, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so they're going to do it regardless, because... That's just what they're going to do. Uh, you see all three of them just die in a ball of fire. And that that facility, uh, somehow they make a giant hole in it. Because yeah. it, you can see on the inside, it's not quite a full alien structure. It seems to be a mo very modified Imperial uh, bunker. So, uh, okay, so they have all perished. They have opened the passage. Yeah, you see just a giant, giant see, hole. Inside of a module. Yeah, you see smoke bailing, billowing out. Is it safe to assume the module is destroyed, or do we need to destroy it forever? Are these things still moving? Are you looking at them? Go ahead. Do yes. Plus 20? You see that they've turned into puddles on the ground. As soon as that explosion happened, they just turned to puddles. Nice. All right, time is critical. Uh, then... <laughs> Do we... the Space Marines also turn to puddles? Not well, all like... of them were Space Marines. I, I know, but there were Space Marines there, though. Yeah. These Did weren't. They... Okay. Right. I imagine the Space Marines are fine. But they're running around naked. Good. So, uh, yeah, uh, time is critical. We need to split and look for the shield generator. And once that is done, we need to radio in and destroy it. Radio into each other, because uh, the garrisons are not going to be garrison is eliminated, and the forces are true. Yeah. So I'm gonna go take the left side. Uh, Those will go right. Yeah. Holy shit! Do you need assistance already? Well, one of their big titans is a puddle, but a ship isn't, and there's a space marine over here. Well, the ship you see is landed on the ground. All right. And it seems to be inactive. The the puddle in the middle of that puddle is uh. A very big space marine that looks very confused and bewildered. Does he have armor? Yeah. 
He's fully armored like a space marine. Then I take cover. Okay. All right. Do you do you attempt to communicate to me, or do you attempt to take it to deal with this on your own? I could take out one space marine on my own. I think. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if he can't shoot me and he's confused. I mean, I should uh, have he, an advantage he has a, here. He has a he has a bolter. He looks like just a regular space marine that looks like 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 he's looking all around him, confused and like looking in the sky, looking at the facility. Like he is oblivious to what you're doing. Well then. Shoot him to get the attack of opportunity on this guy. Yep, because he's within <laughs> 90, so I can technically hit him. Right. And then, roll oh boy, oh boy, I see a building down here. What does it look like? Or, like, I, I see a wing, should I say? So, would this give me a bonus to hit him because he's not aware? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's a ship. You see, it's a it's an alien craft landed. It has a hatch that's down, and it looks like uh, they they were moving supplies in and out of this. In fact, you see some humans as well that they're looking around confused because the ship seems to it started dripping. All right, good. I just moved past it, and I yeah, he's I... dead. He's super dead. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, uh, just yeah. in case. By the way, he also took that. Right. Because I'm assuming, yeah, fourteen. Where does that hit? By the way. Uh, the, the, uh most of hit. the damage is fourteen. So. That's his arm. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Yeah, he only has a uh, twenty-nine armor, or tw fifteen and twenty-nine. He's a space marine, so he dead. Boom, dead. Yeah, I attempt to quickly pass by any anything, and until I find a oh, what what is this? Is this a building? You see a very, uh, it's an imperial building of some sort. Um, go ahead and do space marine lore. Modifier. Plus thirty, because you look very familiar. This is an inserted uh, space marine base that they that they dropped this here purposely and is a headquarters of some kind. Um, it's modified from your what your guys are used to your standard issue, but it is definitely a headquarters for space marines. Mm -hmm. A mobile mobile one, so they dropped it in from the planet. Um, they modified it with uh, heretical technology, aliens and whatnot, and it seems to be dripping the nanonites off of it i pass it by for now looking for any other oh there's a thunderhawk a space marine have thunderhawk i presume yep uh, you see pot you see pods in there you see them messing with things and you see the thunderhawk dripping as well a little bit yeah like it's arm like it's armor plating is dripping i just keep running past up oh, yeah wait, is this a hangar you see, go ahead and do observation. Modifier? Plus, plus, plus 30, your character wouldn't understand what this is. It is a space marine uh, vehicle garage. Oh, yeah, uh, they yeah, brought yeah, the to, yeah, to maintain uh, rhino tanks and whirlwind tanks. And you, that's what you see on the field. Rhinos, whirlwinds, and... Um, Mm -hmm. A few Razorbacks. Right. I see an outline of a, a Titan, I presume. Uh, uh, it is definitely an Imperial Standard Titan. That's been modified in Alien Tech. Is it also dripping? Also dripping and seems to be powered down. All right. Uh, I'm just going to give some turns to Brasaur because I presume... Yeah, and you see... Yeah, and as you're walking through this facility, you see human people running around. They see you. They're kind of ignoring you and just running around trying to figure out what's going on, it seems. 
Uh, before I do anything else, I give us unnatural agility too. So. Okay. Don't spend anything. Yeah. You don't need I'm pretty to... sure I'm fighting this guy over here now. Yes. Here's a quick question. Since he died, the first guy died to the pistol, can I have not shot the shotgun? That's great. Yeah. All right. So the, pistol, can... the pistol's totally silent, by the way. Right. If you get... Oh, well, then, yeah. He doesn't even know you're there. You don't even roll initiative. And then Karnoth, as you're walking through these field of tanks, you see a... Uh, what appears to be a crewman of sorts that was made is here. Ask my lord, uh, we seem to be under attack. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, then tell him to stop. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'm aware we're under attack. I'm try. Keep because looking I'm for the, the attacker. Boom. Keep looking for the cause of the issue. And I just walk away, I just like walk. You, you see him get on the Voxcom trying to signal somebody. Uh, and, he, and he's following you and he goes, my lord, aren't you going to uh, attack the intruders? I am looking for intruders, I say. Uh, and I am trying to deceive him right now. Right, he, he's pointing to the general direction where the smoke's coming from. He goes... My lord, they're that direction. I'll get. He tells you he's getting the other guardsmen in the facility out there to that 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 point. Um, kind of replies. Yes, that's where they want us to think they will strike from. When in reality, they will strike from another angle. Go ahead, do deception. Yeah, I'm gonna do deception. Minus thirty. Oh God, I don't, I cannot survive. All right, you know what? Wow, oh. wow. <laughs> and then he kind of, you almost did. Right, he kind of puts radio in and, and he goes, my Lord, and he kind of gonna glean at you a little bit harder now. <laughs> Intimidate his ass. Oh yes, and- He's a guard. When he does that, I, you know, like kind of puff up, I, uh, you know, like raise the sword. Um, uh, I'm going to do a strength, an intimidation roll. Um, there. He uh, kind of just drops his box and you just see him run away. It's like, and you just hear him screech, intruder! And he's pointing at you. Oh, um... Can I attempt what? to can I attempt to react uh before he shouts? Uh like yep. rolling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I can ro roll an agility check. Uh let me just quickly check. You you would have super yeah. fast agility. You could get to him quicker and your character would ascertain he might say something. Yeah, it's all right. Like... Uh an agility test. Oh wow. <laughs> you pass up to him instantaneously as he's trying to turn around and run. Mm-hmm. Uh, I strike him down. Uh, uh, do a strength check? Are you going to like break his neck or something? I'm just going to punch him with my fist. Okay, go for it. Uh, to hit or to damage? Uh, oh, I'll, I'll hit. Sure. To hit, to hit, to hit first. Sure. Aim for the back. Wow, uh, I, could, I have a talent. Hold on. It's okay. I can reroll for free. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, deal damage. And he's super dead. He just explodes in the ball of guts. Great. Uh, that's dealt with. And I continue. I just like for, forget about this encounter. Just continue searching. For... You, see, you see what appears to be more guardsmen. It looks like they had weapons in their hands, but they're now gone. And. Uh, they're kind of looking at the puddles that were around them, and they're looking at you. And he goes, uh, my lord, it seems that the Inquisition has breached our defenses somehow. Go what to go to the smoke and like the, go reinforce the other regiments. Go, go, go. And they kind of give you a salute and run in that direction. 
Uh, so, oh boy, target practice, I guess. What what is? <laughs> I'm not a space marine. They'll know me immediately. Uh, what does this uh, look like? This building. It. Go ahead, do plus twenty. Another roll. Now, without its alien heretical uh, enhancements, you can see that it's clearly a base marine comms tower of some sort that was modified in such a way. Mm. It's larger than normal, um, and it seems to have uh, four dishes pointing each direction. You can mm. see it pulsing kind of like blue, like... You're not sure what it is, but it's coming from the ground into the facility itself on both sides, plugged into it. And it seems to be a centralized building of this base. All right. I just kind of run past this building, just seeing if there's anything else out here. I see that there's nothing. Uh, and I signal, I radio into Brisora saying, I found their command point. I'll try to you're enter actually it. Gonna, you're actually going to radio? Mm, yes. Okay. And I guess it's now it's Bissora's turn to do things. Yep. Okay. I guess while all that's going on... Oh, man, are these new guys? Those are those guardsmen he told to oh, go okay. in this general direction. You're so welcome. You just see... You just see a bunch of guardsmen with no weapons, and you, you kind of see some with daggers and some with, with like, um, makeshift pistols, it seems. <laughs> Bare bone of pistols. And they're just kind of, like, hoofing it over in that general direction. Okay, I guess since that took so long, I'm going to take a turn to aim at this other space marine before yeah, I Yeah, 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 go it. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. Do your aim. Oh, your boy. <laughs> That's a plus 70 to hit. Hooray. So he would be long dead before these guys even got here. So he's dead too. So, so your guy sets up in that by that ship. Um, oh, I guess when I see them, I uh, let him get in range and then aim at him. You see some workers as well around the ship, and they kind of stare at you a little bit, but they don't pay too much mind to you. Can you do anything with them? I'll just let him be for now. If they're not doing anything to me, I'm just going to ignore him. Yep, yeah, so you see the guardsmen. They're running in the direction of where the fire's at. All right, then about right there. Oh, boy. So this is full auto, by the way. Okay. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay. They just, they just uh, die in a hurl of bullets. You see that the the crew members they pick up wrenches and and whatever weapons they have, and they're kind of just aim aiming at you and backing off as you, right. they see you do that. Well, if like, they, like... then I will turn the other gun at them. I suppose I'll have to re-roll to hit that. Yeah, there's about four crew crew members, uh, like walking backwards away from you, and you're shooting them. All right, and they're all dead too. Yeah, there are, every last one of them's dead. So you killed about eight people. All right, so nine you if you, ten if you count both space brains. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have no full range of the the base. For... Unfortunately, the bolters were allowed. They're not silenced. So, let's see. So, you have seven rounds till. Or, yeah, seven turns you guys each can take before the first sign of reinforcements come. Did he signal where the structure was that we need to go to? He told you where in general where to go so you know generally to go this direction aha uh -huh. and yelma you're gonna move your character around view for them remote view 
Oh, that's true. All the big bads are kind of down right now. So it could, couldn't I? Yeah. Um, in the meantime, Karnov would uh, enter the facility, this uh, yep. command port, command point, yep. outpost. Okay, and Moth, I'm assuming you're gonna stealth run, and Ericles, are you gonna be informing the team of a Thunderhawk? I'm assuming this Thunderhawk that's got people loading on it right now? Uh, unloading. You see a squad of Space Marines unloading. Or, uh, Why is they have... Are they ours or are they enemy? They're... You see, your character would have saw that they're dripping that, that uh, nanonites off them as they're walking okay, down good. around. So, they look... So definitely enemies. Yes. Yeah, they look sort of pissed. You got a squad of space marines, spurs marines coming your way. Yeah, they're hiding in those the metal boxes. Well, yeah, they're bearing the Drake sim symbology. Did Virlo happen to have any explosives on him? <laughs> uh, I think he had like uh, two bandoliers of uh, nanite grenades. Oh, also that, but I'm not sure he did. Let me check his sheet. Um, so I imagine Vera was with me. Perhaps he had a missile launcher, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he doesn't anymore. It doesn't say that at Sorry, least on his sheet, it doesn't, doesn't say he have any. He has anything, so I don't know. So one no then. Shame. I was gonna, I was gonna shoot the Thunderhawk and hopefully it would blow up and kill all the Space Marines too. You can just do. Right. We know how explosive those are when they hit something. Yeah. Go do awareness check there, Karnoth, as well. Modifier. Plus thirty. You hear what sounds to be like supersonic booms coming from above you. Am I in or am I outside? Uh, are you going into the facility or outside? Yeah, I, I was on my way to like it head into the facility. Yeah. In the outside. On the outside, I hear sonic booms. Uh, I look yep. up. You see. You see drop pods. About, about two of them. Uh, I stop midway through to this uh, facility. I turn around, trying to see if Prasor is within eyesight. Uh, I do not see her. <sighs> what do I do? So, uh, I did radio you in, like, radio you the place yes. to go to yes. so far yeah. i'm here i don't know where to go past that uh, so and you see them where the shields would have been you see them just sail right through and smack dab into the center of the facility all right uh i see the drippy space marines Coming out of those red pods? Nope, not drippy. Big, uh, big fuck off, butter buddies. No, you you get you get comms from these guys that this is uh, from the Inquisition, the Re Raven Guard Reavers. Can I? Uh, can I? Uh, your, character, your character would know of them. These the guys who didn't go heretic. These are these are the last of the space marines that stayed loyal to the emperor and is part of the Inquisition forces. Mm-hmm. All right. So they they drop potted in. They got tired of waiting. They tell you. <laughs> All right. 
to the suicidal. Hmm. Wait, where the shield would have been, they just went straight through it? Yep. Let's just leave them to bar the place from orbit. We're done. They just did our job. They checked. In that case, uh... Well, you may want to... No, no, that's the Make sure the shields. underground facilities are taken out, so that way all the shield networks across the planet yeah, are like, taken you know. out. Exterminatus. Planet killer. Planet killer? Fuck this base. Fuck these aliens. Fuck everything on it. Kill the entire <laughs> planet. That was the plan. You're gonna exterminatus? I want to. Unless you guys think that's a bad idea. Um, Up to you. I mean, they, the world's pretty much dead anyway. The world the is dead. Fine. No, I'm not against ex exterminating the planet. That's a that's a sound plan. We might need the info they store in their base that would pertain to their locations, to their plans, to their movement of their ships. As far as I remember about this base, it controls all of the robot bullshit if we take it out the robots are gone and we only have the space marines to deal with that's how they that's how they operate the facility you don't know what it is or what it does you just know there was a target that you're trying to take out and that one of the two bases is uh housing the shield and the local network for the nanites or the not the global network for the nanites around that space station yes. yeah and Apparently, from what else. and from what we understood, this was the most heavily defended facility in the system, aside from the one that had the space frames on it. So this would most likely be the one that controls all of the robots, everything. Mm -hmm. So do we so gain we just more information, or do we not? Do you, yeah, that's up to you. You want to gain more information, or you just want to exterminate us? I don't want to risk it, but it's up to you guys. I mean. If this is the correct one, we exterminatus it. Well, the planet's going to get destroyed regardless from it. So it might just disable the other facilities anyway. I, I think we should. We should gain information. Or we should not. And we should destroy it for like what what's the which 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 is the priority? I mean, I think we're going to exterminate it. But if you can gain information before we exterminate it, then that's great. Uh, entering the facility. Yeah. As we probably as we have six rounds until we probably can't do that. Then uh, you, you I can. Mean, you just have that squad of space marines, and you've got uh, all the space marines that just dropped in, so you've got more time. You can extract. I'm going in. All right, then I'll back you up. Yeah, uh, the Reavers are following you guys as well. Yeah. Let's get Virlo over here too. Oh, they would actually recognize Virlo, probably, since he's a Raven Guard himself. I'm gonna move Virlo's token over here. I'm assuming these two big guys over here are puddles. Yep, puddles. Any any aliens? All puddles currently. I don't like how you say that. Yeah, well, what? yeah, currently. We need we need to hurry up. And you just kind of see these uh, space marines just kill every single civilian. Oh yeah. Worker in the I'll area. Yep, they're just blasting away. Every one of them is a fucking heretic. Yeah, I, I let Vero oh, deal with them. Every one of them is a heretic. All those space brains get a plus 10 to their shooting. <laughs> nice. It's just war crimes, the RPG. Yep. Well, yeah, it's Warhammer. What'd you expect? Yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. So, what? Yeah, not all of them are Raven Guard. One of them is Raven Guard, uh, but they do recognize. Rilo's character, the guy Archon. I will let Virlo do all the commanding and 
hoo hoo ha ha hello brother whilst I am in the facility looking for anything useful. Yep. Yeah. Hey there. I'm in the back are... waving the imperial flag, making sure everybody does their job. Yeah. Hey yeah, there. Space Marines are joining you. Uh, the door is locked, by the way, as you guys approach it. <sighs> I, I turned uh, your Melt persona. the shotgun. Yep. Melt the shotgun. You make a somewhat of a dent into the door. Damn. Yep. Mm. Uh, one of the Space Marines kind of looks at you. And then he pulls out a giant satchel bomb. Off That'll work better. Yeah, and he puts it on the door, and then he kind of just stares at you and goes, dit, 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 dit. and then he tells you, stand clear. Well, yeah. Okay, uh, the door is breached. I go in. in. I go in first. Okay. You go in, and you see a bunch of crew members. You see them kind of huddled around, and they have like looks like pistols and pitchforks. Did they pitchforks? Pistols and pitchforks. Do they attempt yeah. to shoot me, or do they They're, just stand there? They kind of just stand there, looking scared in the corner. I ignore them. I just go around like looking for stuff. Right. Uh, the space... local farmers. <laughs> they. It looks like they grab whatever they could at, at the time. Uh, the the space marine behind you lifts his rifle up, blasts both of them. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll just let the rest of them deal with that. Yeah, they just kind of just murder them. Boom, boom, murder them. I'm curious because I didn't see a farm. Where did they get the pitchforks? Are you asking them? Space the... farms. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they had. Yeah, they had pitchforks, pistols. Uh, some of them had brooms. I get the brooms, but the pitchforks. Maybe it's like they have a torch. Maybe it's like their feudal world, you know, like relics, and you know, like <laughs> every every so like firstborn son has to have like oh, a family. Are heirloom. there little nanite? Are there little nanite puddles below them where the pitchforks tech pitchforks for some weird reason? No. Oh. Uh -huh. no. That would have made sense at least. <laughs> All right, I'm. Okay, uh, weird I'm, civilian people. I'm trying to look for anything useful. Uh, go ahead, do search. Plus 30. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay. Uh, you find a console in the center of this building. And you're, as, you're t as the space rooms are coming through, just murdering people, blowing up, I mean, the, the gun, uh, the, the defense... Uh, turrets do nothing to you guys' armor. It just bounces off you as it's shooting at you guys. Mm -hmm. They take care of that for you guys. Uh, they execute everyone in the facility. It's a, it's a command room. You see a console. You see what appears to be four giant monitors. Uh, What's on them? What's on them? Character looked at them, and it is encrypted. You don't know what it is. You know it's. You know it's. Uh, this chapter is encrypted to their specific needs. Space right. I, 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 I'm gonna use tech use to just you know, go over like a basic gloss over. Can I like how long is it gonna take to decrypt and like how complex it is? Yada yada. Uh, yeah, yeah. Modifier. Minus fifty. Jesus. Uh, uh, I can't even succeed that. Oh well. Virlo? Oh, oh, Virlo. Uh, Virlo. Uh, where is his character sheet? Take use, take use. Minus 50. Let's count as. One action doing this entire thing, going to the facility and everything. He also does not succeed. I will fate point it for Virlo. All right. Okay. Uh, Virlo will get minus eight. Wait, minus forty instead, right? Yep. He succeeds. He's able to decipher kind of what's going on here and glean into a little bit. Um, and one of the the reavers. Or one of the uh, 
squad members of this group also comes up and informs you that this looks very similar to their encryptions they had prior to them leaving this group. And then with their assistance, they can help you decipher what's on the screens. So, Grillo can do it with the help of the other Space Marines. So go ahead, give yourself uh, plus, plus 10 this time to decipher. So they got through initial check. Okay, so you're able to discern that this is a command. Oh, 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 sorry. Command, yeah, this is a command and control facility for the Space Marine, the Renegade Space Marines. Mm hmm. Uh, these are their trip, troop positions, fleet movements, all of it. Download everything. Download everything. Okay. All right. It's on, a, it's on a data pad. Good. Uh... That, that the one of those space marines asked, do you have everything? Yes. As soon as you say yes, he just takes his bolter and blasts the, t the yeah. console. I was going to have a planted bomb, but that works too. He goes, da, 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 da. blast the console, and then he tells the other group, plant charges. Man, uh, Karnoff, like also look, tries to look around, looking for anything else, like, anything useful besides the console. But I presume he defines nothing, since he only found that console, nothing else. No, he, t uh, he tells you... Uh, Good work, brother. This is this is their command and control. We've been trying to get to it for for a long time now. Mm-hmm. Got enough. Got like uh, uh, acknowledges that and leaves uh, uh, the facility and radios in to Eric Lady, saying we have everything. We can initiate the bombardment. Once we leave. Once we but once we leave, yes. Roger, sending in the bomb now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You see You see the Thunderhawk take off into the into oh. the sky. I asked if the Space Marines can have any missile launchers real quick to fire that and shoot that thing down. They tell you negative they don't they don't got anything Damn. like that. So you just see it kinda just leave. Uh, I radio into our ship that there is a Thunderhawk leaving, if they see I, I'm... it. I'm... Do I know how the Thunderhawks function? Is there, like, a place I can shoot on it to fuck them up? No. Well, Damn. they probably... Like, their engines would probably be the most vulnerable if you can get a lucky shot with your pistol, but, you know, it's a... It's, oh, way, it's I beyond have... your range. Yeah. It's, it's, My range it's... is very far. How far? 900 meters. Okay, you can probably take a shot at it. I have a sniper rifle. Yeah, yeah, you can take one shot at it before it takes off. That's flying over uh, To hit? Mm hmm. Minus, no, minus, I... minus 60, but you can do it. It would be at your maximum. Ah, oh, nope, I missed. Damn. Would it be worth date playing? Uh, Cause I yeah, because that would turn it into a minus 20, so why not? I got fake points to burn. Boom. E. Okay, go ahead, roll damage. Uh, you're able to take out their starboard engine. Nice. Thanks. Yep, you see it smoking, and you see it kind of just like hang, and it just it's still flying in the distance, and it kind of takes a couple pop shots in your guys' general direction, but doesn't do anything else. So uh, yeah, I relay the information that there's a loose Thunderhawk leaving the base, uh, and yeah. it, they it... inform you that the that massive fleet that you guys encountered earlier is heading in that direction at full speed so all right you kind of you, you want to get out of there asap yep, time to go yep we are leaving we are leaving the base okay uh the leaving other... from where we from where we came yeah the other space marines as you guys are walking through the base they kind of point 
uh, and they kind of describe what some of these buildings are to you. And on the left, we have the cafeteria. <laughs> Serves great. Ooh, oh boy. Four seven. <laughs> Nanai tapioca. No, they did the the reason that they, they tell you they're describing it so they can uh, memorize and destroy these later because they alt they've obviously altered them. So. Mm -hmm. And in case they die, they want you to know the information as well. Uh, and as you pass this building here, they said this building needs to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Me and Vero are just at the exfiltration point, tapping our feet, wondering. Okay. Yeah. Well, they take. Where'd they, they all go? Oh yeah, they they all stopped to go focus on this building over here. Uh, I'm uh, like uh, I'm, I'm encouraging uh, every space marine to leave right now immediately. That we don't have any time. Yeah, let them do what they're gonna do. They're yeah. on a suicide mission, man. Uh, I, I'm you... aware. Carnap so does that. Yeah, they tell you go, uh, go. We'll handle this. You see them planning charges, setting it up. Like... Uh, I'm letting them know that we're gonna exterminate this whole planet. We, this is very, uh, this is uh, useless, unnecessary. unnecessary to Thank you. And he kind of gleans that it is not a surefire way of destroying these things. They have to make sure. So. Uh, I would like to try and convince them to stop what they're doing and instead leave. Um, what? what it is a planet right? cracker and we're dropping it near this base. It should take out everything. Yeah. Um, what is it like? Command? What is it like? Uh, fellowship. Fellowship. I don't have very far high fellowship. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Any modifiers? Mm, plus twenty. Oh, that was wait. That was who was that? That was, was Virlo. Uh, that uh, was Carnos. That was no. That was Carnos of stats. By the way, that was Carnos stats. I just forgot to take away. Because... No worries. Uh, so go ahead, and give him a speech, and then he'll follow you guys. Yeah. A planet cracker exterminatus missile will hit the core of this planet near this base. I assure you, there will be nothing left, uh, and nothing will stand in its way. So please leave. Can I hear a... Uh, please see reason and leave. Yeah, you kind of hear a jaded response like he's been through this and he agrees with you and he orders the team to follow you. Yeah. Uh, and they're killing civilians as they're running. Sure, sure target practice. Oh, fun fact. Apparently me and Virlo have the same fellowship. Interesting. And then you guys see you guys a Thunderhawk, and you guys are leaving the base. I'm assuming you're sending this missile after your Thunderhawk leaves. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let me do some rolls, because your your Thunderhawk is going to be encountering some resistance as you go into the sky. Yeah. As you guys are going up, uh, your Thunderhawk comes under heavy assault. That that entire formation is descending upon it. Comes under heavy, heavy assault. So they actually disable your Thunderhawk and you guys are just adrift in space. Can I fate point that? Fate point. Uh not drifting, yeah. Then I'll do that. But you're still gonna be under heavy assault until you either get picked up or your ship deals with these the enemy fleet. Currently, the Thunderhawk is getting assaulted by alien fighter craft. They, they've, they've literally descended upon the planet, a huge swarm. Your ship oh, is getting blasted. Oh, it's blast alien fighters, I see. Uh, yeah, they're uh, blasting, shredding your thing apart. All right, I, I do have piloting as Karnov. Can I assist in piloting the ship? Like Yeah. All right. Uh, modifiers? You get uh, minus 20, and I'm assuming you guys are going to beeline it back to... 
back to the rendezvous with uh, the ship. Well, hopefully the ship is also dropping an exterminatus bomb at the same time. Yeah, they're, they're doing all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, these guys are following your Thunderhawk as you're trying to uh, retreat, and you see that the Thunderhawk is firing back at them with the, with the turrets and everything available to them to keep the alien craft off them. Um, of course, it's like, you know, uh, it's actually, you see the rounds impacting on the ships and blowing them up. You hear the crew elated and kind of joyful to, to experience that. Right. As they're doing that. Damage their ships. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, you guys are able to get right to where the rendezvous thing is. Your ship is still disabled, not destroyed. Um, do a few more pilot checks to kind of fly your ass the rest of the way. Put some space, too. That's within the space. All right. Uh, is it the same modifier? Uh... Why that stretched? That's weird. It stretched out like that. Minus minus forty this time. If your ship is disabled. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. All right. Nice. Can you control any of the ships there, guys, or? Uh yeah, I, I can move the red one, and I can move the. I can move okay. uh, every single one of them, yeah, actually. All right. Um, there. Yep. Boop. Boom. Good. So, you're over here. You guys are over there. You moth are over there. With the rest of the squads. So hold on, oh. my my map is. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get to the. Okay, so the red one is where, we are at right now. Right. Currently, where you and Moth are at, yes, correct. Um, it's just like a Thunderhawk and not like a, uh, an actual ship. Yep, and you're currently damaged. And you just see a swarm, a small, like, it looks like a swarm of angry bees around you. It can be represented by these guys. Oh, here. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they look a little fireflies. And they're just pelting your Thunderhawk. Is there any? Uh, are there any mounted? Um, are there? Yeah. Is there any weaponry that can deal with that? Yeah, you're the 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 this Thunderhawk has guns in pretty much all directions. It has a turret on top, and they're actively shooting at active targets. Mm -hmm. And there's. Thousands of fighters swarming your general direction, getting close, firing at you guys, missing on all sorts of other maneuvers. They seem to not be able to hit you accurately. Mm. All right, I continue piloting. Uh, how many more pilot checks do I need to make? Uh, let's see, how far are you from the main fleet? Well, don't forget, one of the ships probably can go pick Not them far. Up. Oh, wait, yeah, why is it it's, feet? It's just just a hundred feet. They can make that in a second. Yeah, it's a hundred feet. It's okay. Yeah, hundred and fifty. Yeah, not bad. I don't know why it, it corrected itself. It should be kilometers. Oh boy. So you guys can go about currently with your engines disabled and everything else. You can go fifty kilometers per per turn. Okay. So, so three turns. Well, the thing these ships can also go in the other direction. <laughs> All right. Towards them to pick them up. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, you wouldn't know anything is going on. Um, the fleet basically signals to you guys that they're on their way, and that the enemy force is right behind you. <laughs> I don't know if you see that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, roll initiative. Uh, I can't. We can't really roll. 
without the token, but hold on, let me try. Maybe. Right shit, like, yeah, 1D, 1D20 or 1D100. There you go. Hey, there we go. Aha, the ship. And I guess one for Virlo. That's Virlo at the bottom. So the ship got a what? What'd you guys get? Who got the highest initiative roll? I got a 20. Okay, so the ship gets a 20 then. That's the highest. This, that, that, and that. And Karnov, unless you want to do independent actions, do you want to be on the turn order? Uh, I will be just driving, piloting the ship. I will not be doing anything else. Uh, then, you, then you'll have the, the highest uh, initiative of the group. All right. Or was it 23? I see a 23. Was it 23, Mom? The, no, the 23 was the... Uh, I was just re-rolling to get the token. Oh, okay. On. Yeah, they, they got it. The enemies got a 6. Okay. So, go ahead. Go ahead, group. 50 kilometers at your current pace. All right, driving test. Uh, bum, bum, bum. You can... Your ship has like 5 HP currently. All right, uh, driving skill check. Uh, is it the same modifier or is it different? What's, uh, the, what's the modifier? Mi minus 40 to go 50 kilometers. Damn it. So you can go half. Mm, let's see if I can go full, the full amount. I love gambling. Oh, I love gambling. Oh, yep. Uh, mm. Mm. I don't have any fate points left. <laughs> You're hey, have, sure, you can use my last fate point. Oh. Yeah. And then allied fleet can move 50 in your direction as well. So. I, I love fate points. You know what? I'm I'm gonna take the L. I'm gonna move twenty five. I I took your like, this point right there. Okay. And then, Can we have Virlo try to repair the ship a little? Uh, with what's going on, it would be impossible to do anything. Fair enough. So the Allied fleet is also going to move. You guys can move the Allied fleet fifty kilometers in your direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, can is like the fighters are well, the little fighters are firing into the ship, and they're presuming they're they're making holes in the ship. They're yeah, is it, when they do land hits, it's popping like holes that disintegrate your guys' armor on the ship, and your engines are smoking. You have basically one engine left. Uh, your armor is scraped to crap, and uh, there's multiple hull breaches on, on the vessel. Technically, you could shoot through the hulls in hoping, like it's a blind firing, but it it is something. Like we can like make Virlo just shoot into the void, hoping he would hit something. <laughs> I mean, he can mount a mount a turret and fire back at them. You oh, can, you oh, guys can yeah. Also, if you guys can, can also. That, yeah. Oh, I'll just mount a turret and fire back then. Yeah, you guys can also shoot. You guys have uh, currently the main turret plus six additional turrets. Mm -hmm. Which would be, uh, you guys can use your bolters. Mm -hmm. My yeah, bolter or their bolter? Uh, it's just a standard issue bolter. That's they're like bolt. They're bolter twin bolter turrets. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. Uh, you can get the stats from um. One of the other I mean, I imagine it's the exact same as mine. It's just I don't get the double shots. You get um, like two that. of them. They you get you get double double the firepower. So you get two. Oh, so it is my bolters then. Yeah, it's twin link. Well, they're like something like twin linked heavy bolters, probably. Uh, yep, and each each horde has about a hundred fighters. So. can fire six times from your craft. So 
Oh, and Yelmug, are you prepping your little uh, librarian thing yet? Yep. I am waiting for the confirmation that all shields on their stuff are down. That way I'm going to pop in and just summon a school of Megalodons. How much damage did you do? A lot. Uh, 12, 14, probably minus, minus 12, minus 14. Oop, 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 oop. Hundred and six total with four penetration. Although I'm not sure if that's the right penetration value. No. Or if it matters. So hundred and six, so uh pick a group, that group dies. Actually, okay. I'll, I'll that's group. Yeah, they're dead. Shit, that was supposed to be fear low, my bad. Yeah, because it's about like I said, a hundred fighters per group and you blah 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 blah. Blasted a hundred of them. Okay. I'm gonna re roll for fear low. And every round, the fighters are going to replenish. Double, double. Wow. The okay. So, as you kill, more will come. Damn, Virlo. What the hell? He wrote a 96 and a 99. <laughs> He's uh, just missing all the plays. <laughs> okay, yeah, I re, I re rode. Okay, hold on. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. This, uh, this is what happens. How much damage is that? Uh, 60... 60. Okay. Minus 60. Okay. Uh, who else can attack? You have... Four more turrets. You fire two. Or, you have four more turrets plus the main. I mean, unless you want me running between turrets. You I have think, the other I space think marines. Space marines, yeah. Yeah, the other space marines. So, you can fire in their stead. Yes, uh, well, what are their stats for shooting? Uh, they're just a standard space marine. I got, hold up, I got something. Well, I plus got zero? Something. Probably yeah, like, plus. no, but like their weapons, what's their ballistics skill? Because we're using ballistics skill. Let me skill. see. I'll look at their ballistics skill. Uh, 70. Alright. Um, Virla also has seven. No. Mine's 76, so that's close enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's similar to you guys. Yeah, you can just roll your, yours, sure. Yeah. I'm going. It's a plus zero though to hit instead of our usual bonuses. Mm-hmm. I want to prep the next group. Let's see, that's, hold up, minus 11, minus 22, or 26. Another 106, wow, that's odd. Okay, so this group is dead, and then... What are the chances I'd roll the same number in damage twice? Very low, minus Kind, kind of low, yeah. And minus 20, so that... That right there, you're able to <laughs> kill a group and then heavily damage the other group. The last remaining, or the last remaining group that's immediately to your rear, deal damage to you. Okay, we still have another three turrets though. Yep. And you have one target left within your range. You have because you can target anything up to, uh, you know, twenty clicks. So that group's dead. Let me just put one aside as a tracker. So we have group K, and it is now. There we go. They can move 25 kilometers. Oh, good. 128 that time. Cool. At least anybody's counting. No, you killed that group. That group, that group, the other group's dead, but these other groups are out of the range. So they're just, it's their turn, and they're going to move now. And they can move 25 kilometers. Okay, and then your guys' go. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, like, uh, you, yeah. You, can move, you can move the main fleet 50 kilometers that direction anytime. It's all essentially your guys' the same turn. And then you're doing a pot check to move your ship up to 50. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be so minus 50. In fact, do it, before you take your thing, let me one d Your other engine goes out. So you can only move half. You only move up to 25 now. And failed projects, you can move 12 kilometers. All right. Uh, so I said it's a minus. It's a minus 50 minus, to check to. Minus, Minus 50 pod check to move up to 25 kilometers now. Your engine just exploded some more. Okay, you can move half that. 12 kilometers. 12.5 kilometers. If you click the token and right-click yeah, when you're tracking. Did, yeah. uh, did we move the ship last time? When I rolled, yeah, I moved them. Okay, yeah, they moved 100 you, meters so far. Yeah, and they're outside your we weapons range, so. Which means we're outside their weapons range too. That's correct. So it is their turn, and they can move 25 kilometers. Moving right, basically on top of you guys. You're still outside their weapons range. Oh, this group can hit you. This group can hit you. That group can hit you, and that one cannot. So three groups. Three groups are within range of you. So they're going to roll. Let me get out their weapon systems. They're going to be rolling a. Severe. They'll be rolling on minus sixties. Minus sixty. They still hit you. First group hit you, and then. Oh, they have a hundred to hit. Of course, they're gonna hit us. Yep. Minus sixty, and. As in, like they cannot, they cannot miss. Uh, they will always hit. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a hundred. They can't they 100? miss. Hold up. I don't think that's correct. Did they roll a hundred? No, they shouldn't be. This should be, uh, I think it was 85. I don't know. Let me do that again. If it's 85, then the first one still hits, but the second, the, the rest miss. Yeah, because yeah, they need to roll under a, oh, what, a 15? Yeah, we need to roll a 15. They're gonna deal 31. That will that will one shot us because it's a lot of damage. Yeah, that will one shot your ship uh, and your engine. It will be totally destroyed, and you will be immobile. You can. Can we dodge? Yes, you can. All right. Before we dodge, can I fade point their roll? You can. You can fade point the roll to make a miss. Well, yeah, their we'll their damage is very low. They rolled a six. That's just so you know. Plus twenty five. Yeah. But still that's a one D hundred. That's still that yes. would get a six. Yeah. Cause they're they're You do know we have five HP on the ship, right? Yep. Five HP, no armor. And they're looking it looks like they're targeting your engines and whatnot. It looks like they're trying to disable you. Hmm. Uh the fleet's gonna be here next turn, so if they miss yeah. We should be okay. All right, how do I do? I just use my agility to dodge. How do I? Pilot check. Pilot check plus agility. Yeah. Pilot check. Uh, minus minus sixty. I don't think I can succeed that. Oh wait, no, yeah, I, can, I can. I can. I can succeed, but it's gonna be like a. a very yeah, I'll low. just fade point to have a miss. I still got one left. All right, minus sixty. 
didn't dodge. Mm. Nope, I'm still getting hit by that. Hello? Yeah, you gonna fake point for them, miss? Yes. Okay, I was waiting for him to let you do his thing, so they're gonna get... What? He said he couldn't make this the dodge know, I, anyway, so... I, I, I could, it's just a, a 10 or lower. Uh, now they miss. They miss. Yeah. They missed completely. With you dodging and and them blasting, they narrowly miss your engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With their hail of, uh, you just see laser fire everywhere. Okay, and it is your go. Okay, you guys can now move. All right. Pilot check. Is it still a minus 50? Yes. In fact, before you make a roll... Oh. The fleet has arrived. Your engine... Your wing, where your engine was, blows off completely. Hmm. So you are now in, in... You are unable to move. We're just drifting in space right now. Yep, engine blew out. Uh, so it's up to you, to the fleet. I'm assuming you're going to order the fleet to engage the hostile forces. Oh, yeah. Have, have your ship pick you up and get out of there, right? Yep. You're going to have to sacrifice some of your ships to do this to cover you. There is a metric ton of vessels coming in. How many did you want to sacrifice this... Four will guarantee you get out unscathed. You don't have to worry about anything else. Well, four is all we got. You actually have one, two, three, four, five vessels. Uh, six. Six, six vessels. Yeah. So yeah, four, four vessels sacrificed. Uh, plus three, that thing was their head. Right. But Were they with us? Our fancy stuffs on one of those ships, including the me. blue, the blue and red ones. You're oh, on the blue okay. ship. We're the red ones are main. Yep. So not those two ships. So sacrifice the other ones to provide you cover because they, they they're gonna lose they're gonna be engaging that entire hive of vessels and there's more behind them. So and that, considering how easily a Thunderhawk took out a bunch of them, I didn't think this would be a problem for the fleet in the slightest. Oh no 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 no. Considering just, the number of guns each ship should have. This is the vanguard of that thousand plus ship vessel fleet. They're going to have to take time to pick you up now and fend off thousands upon thousands upon thousands of fighters now coming in. You guys were basically hauling ass at max speed, getting blasted apart uh, as you're going along. And now your engine just fell apart and you're now drifting towards the fleet. And these ships are rushing ahead of you now to provide you cover. And now engaging this fleet. Yes, they can deal damage and blast in all directions. Hey, Yo Mug, how far can you use that wormhole again? And can you hop out of that chamber quickly? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it takes some days. It takes some days. And he could God, this die. chamber is fucking worthless. It's not worthless. It's not worthless. Oh, that, sorry. That sorry, it has one worth. It has a worth of one. My yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. No. Are the shields on those ships disabled? Because I could wipe out that entire fleet. You see your guys' ships blasting these fighters out of the sky. You see well, that's, them. That's fighters. I'm talking about the Thousand Fleet. Oh, the capital ships. They haven't yet arrived to your guys' location. Are you yeah. going to wait Wait and see? Are you going to pull well, back? Well, the, the thing I want to confirm before I do anything is have we destroyed the facility or disabled the shields for all the stations and all the ships and whatnot? Well, as you look down below, you see that the entire planet is just a molten ball of destruction. Cool. Uh, you see no visible signs of anything down there. Uh, and they're informing you uh, their shields appear to be down, but their their fighter craft and aircraft seem to be operational. Oh, yeah. Just just real quick. The, uh, the Inquisition facility was on a different planet in the system, right? Yeah, this is a moon. This is a okay, moon. Just... Just checking. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the coordinates you're given is on a far fringe moon on the other side of the system. Uh, 
that the servaks don't even go to. All right. They had no no value whatsoever to either side, as far as they're aware. Now, do we know how? Like, is this like their fleet, or this is just like a portion of their fleet, like a small portion? Uh, so you're asking for intel. So the the commanders inform you that this is. They don't know if it's their entire fleet, a portion of their fleet. They don't. They don't know. They know that there's a the main mothership that controls everything. That they do know. So you guys, so the main mothership is here. No, they, as in like there's a mothership that controls everything, but yeah, don't, they yeah. they they right. inform you they don't see that vessel. Okay. Among the fleet, but they see a giant fleet. So then it's. So I'm not going to waste my life on destroying this. Lead. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the station, which is the goal anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. Also the rotators there and the mothership, and I can kill them all. Wait, are you going to have these ships stay and sacrifice themselves, or try to try to evac as soon as you're safe and secure? I try to evac immediately. Okay. As soon as we get the Thunderhawk on board. So that's going to take you, let's see, GMO, 1D, 10 rounds to get your ship. It's going to take you four rounds to get them board. So, and then GMO. And they're, they are going to take a minus 50 penalty to the, those four ships evac themselves. So, two of the ships definitely do not make it. They actually get destroyed in the ensuing battle. And the other two vessels, they are able to safely fall back with the remainder of the fleet. But the captains do note that even their capital ships, they're able to actually hurt. So they actually took out a couple other capital ships. Nice. Good. Good. That means my powers will work. So we can end the session right there until next one. You guys get uh, 4,000 XP. All right. And you guys have what? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vessels. Seven vessels. You guys started this mission with 16 vessels. So 11 were destroyed. Technically, we started this mission with a single vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, like, with all forces combined. All all available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your single vessel is your guys' home. Your guys' whatever. The other vessels were supplementary. So. And the intel you receive... By the way, guys, about the station, is they tell you that another fleet of similar size is also defending that station. Um, That's fine. Yeah. And <laughs> they, they won't they, be after I deal with them. <laughs> right. Um, and the Inquisitor does have some forces that can engage them as well, besides this, this fleet here. Not much, but something. Uh, let's see. He... There's an additional seven other vessel escort vessels. Not capital vessels, but escort type craft that can also engage the battle. So I'm assuming next session you guys are gonna make a beeline for that station? Yep. Oh, yes. I hope you've already rolled another character. I'm still making it. Because <laughs> having to spend uh, now 70,000 7, 70, XP yeah. is a lot. Yeah. yeah it is. Especially since I'm making a, uh, an Ogren. <laughs> that doesn't technically exist in, in the rules. Take yeah, it from the uh, uh, that one book, Rogue Trader. Dark no, so oh boy, it's, uh, the, only dark Ogrens, the only Ogrens that exist is the only war, but that's a different rule set. 
Oh, I see. Oh, you could probably not, just it use... is non-compatible with this rule set. Mm -hmm. You could just use the dark heresy stuff for all the stats and whatnot. That's and what then I'm just doing. Just make up the ogren. Yeah, I'm just using a, a basic uh, person uh, and just giving him an extra t uh, plus ten on my starting attributes for strength and toughness, but a minus ten for willpower and intelligence. <laughs> Does that enough. make sense? Yeah. Um, and I just rolled real shit for fellowship and intelligence. Anyway, nice. nice. Like I rolled like a five. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> um, nice. but uh, I want him to have uh, a sturdy's weapons training, which isn't part of the other thing. Nor are there like points for that in Death Watch. Uh, because if I don't I use sturdy's weapons, I don't have a lot of damage output. I mean, I have plenty of damage input. I don't have a Stardew's weapons. Yeah, it's because you're using melted pistols. Yeah, just use big fucking. Yeah, I, I'm gonna use something that's not melted pistols. So you could uh, you also, could get a also Stardew's weapons. Also, is large enough to be able to use a Stardew's weapons. Yeah, yes. you could get a Stardew's weapon training. Just yeah, yeah, double the price no... of regular weapon training for it. I mean, that could work if uh, that's okay, Boko. Yeah. All right. Because he thinks he's a space marine, right? Yeah, he thinks he's a space marine. Yeah, yeah. Then he would he would go through all the training and whatnot. Just give him some penalties for using such weapons. I think the idea of the weapons training is that I don't get penalties for using yeah. those weapons. Okay, really? Okay, well then, yeah, that's because I'd be trained in them. All right, I'm, I'm large enough and strong enough to be able to use them. All right. Plus, yeah, they the put idea him in is power that, armor. Yeah, and I just have like a makeshift weird ass. Space Marine power armor, but I don't. But it's not actual Space Marine armor because I don't have any of the uh, the implants or the uh, the genetic it's, modifications. It's just or the plate armor, and they painted it's it just, really nice. Yeah, it's just a really fit, awesome uh, ceramide armor, or in power armor. Yeah, there you go. I'm just trying to look in the rules if there's anything. Related to the cost. Yeah, I don't really see. I, the, the, the initial... it's, just like, it's just like you have 15,000. Here's what all that encompasses. But what all that encompasses is also a whole bunch of other things. Yes, but most of that, have. most of those other things have XP costs associated with them. So yeah, most, but not some of the like, from there. Yeah, but not like some of the integral ones. So I'm figuring it out. Uh, based on like the other weapon trainings you get, uh, like uh, where was it? For example, in Death Watch, exotic uh, weapon training. Uh, where was it? Fuck, it was like two K from what I remember. Yeah, but if I remember right, exotic weapon training is specific to a single weapon type. Oh no, it's five. It's five hundred to a single type. Yeah. Uh. So like, you can just say like, oh, a star is like a thousand five hundred. I think I did fifteen. Yeah, I think I did fifteen hundred for. No, no, no. Is exotic weapons function differently? It's like there's hundreds of different types of exotic weapons. When you get exotic weapon training, you train in that one specific weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I train in the graviton cannon, but you can't use any of the others. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. fact that uh, the Astartes weapons training for Space Marines is like, you, once you have it, you know Astartes weapons. Mm -hmm. So I just figured, all right, cool, same as the other ones. I'll just pay 1500 for it. Yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. So how was that? Yeah, that we actually was... did damage. We actually did stuff, yeah. We made progress. Uh, for example, there's a talent, which is like basically an improved version of Astartes weapon training, which costs 1500 and how m usually talents work is an improved version of the same talent costs the same so for example like dodge one will st cost the same as like dodge like plus 20 or like you know like signature weapon well, something will cost like twice. it also depends on your, your race and your, yeah your race and your class also depend on that by the way that group that scout ahead was was that uh Elite scouting group you guys had initially. Hmm. They are all dead now. All three of them. Fair all enough. Right. There was actually twenty of them, but yes. Got it. 
<clears throat> they most they of them died. Did the to, job. They died to the invisible wall and then figured it out. Yeah. Using a hammer that the tech marines couldn't fucking develop. Yep. <laughs> right. And it with a stick from a distance. Ah. Oh. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel bad at all about uh. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I purposely oh, made it. We can do it. It's going to take a month. Really? It's going to take a month to glue a grenade to a rocket? Are you serious? Or well, just yeah, remove he... the inner things? Well, yeah, he was very uh, uh, proud and arrogant. That's the way I was writing up his character. That I was like, he's, he's, well, now he's anymore. arrogant and dead. Yeah, so his thing was like, um, yeah, elitist. I'm sure you got that sense from him as he mm -hmm. talked and spoke to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It wasn't just, very elite. And, and one little little glitch to just make him stumble, and uh, he's dead. Yeah, he had, you, I was thinking, I was like, if he does that, this guy's dead, because all he is is a brain in a very nice suit. Well, that's why I didn't do like the thing where he stopped for an entire minute. No, no, no. He was, like, I'm like, if, if, I have, if I do that one for a full 10 rounds, yeah, he'd probably die from that, but one round of his shit glitching out probably shouldn't kill him. No, he was, he was literally, that suit was keeping him alive. For it ever go off, he dies. Well, that's like, his mistake. <laughs> yep. Well, I know, again, he's arrogant, he's he's like, made a perfect machine, you saw him, whatever, Obviously at least he died. Yeah. Right, 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 right. that's was, the whole point. If it was perfect, it would have been able to start working again. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to dislike him, I was like, man, I was like, man what's it going to take for Yelmug to not like this guy? <laughs> all right. Uh, and if we're the ship that all the tech priests were on blew up. Yep. So win win. The, the tech priests? Uh, no, that the one of the two ships is the surviving tech priest ship. Fuck. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> uh, there might be an errant uh, space uh, megalodon that's going to eat that ship. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, a stealth armada, yeah, like a stealth armada of quote unquote uh, alien ships that just happen to target that one. Oh, it's the blue one, isn't it? The one that he's on already? No, 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 it's you guys. Oh, it's what a coincidence. No, the red one's the one that they're on. No, the red one is ours. The oh, blue one's the, the one with the psychic chamber. Green. Yeah. All right. Well, that green one might not survive. Damn. Oh, no. I played the fifth. I heard nothing. So the Inquisitor basically applauds you in your your efforts. And he asks you, Pesora, how did you get in? Suicide Squad. Sent in uh, the recon team and they figured out how to get in. And they they, uh, they put a grenade in a hammer and poked it. And they took the shield down. Sometimes the simplest approach is the best approach. That's what he says to you. Yep. You guys would like that. I was like, because I was making you guys think of all this fancy stuff, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to literally have a guy with a stick and a grenade. Because I was, honestly, I, it was no trick. I gave you grenades to disable the shield. All you had to do is throw the grenade at the shield, and it would have got you in. Yeah, I kind of figured, but no one threw grenades the last time we assaulted the place. So it's like, yeah, yes, all because right. all the times we told Virlo to do something, he was like, I'm just going to sit here. Yep. So I literally was like, eh, it's just going to be a guy with a stick. They're going to figure it out after 20, dead, 20, dead, 20 of their comrades dying. Mm-hmm. So, 20 of their guys were sacrificed and killed to find out that a grenade on a stick is the best approach. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got you right through. Yeah. Well, then, see you some next time. Uh, have a good one.